Well, hello, Spring Forward, and happy Wednesday. I hope this video finds you well. Um, we've had a couple of really nice days of weather, a little hint of what might be coming. Uh, daylight savings time is on the horizon, uh, which brings longer days and uh, we get closer and closer to our summer. So a few, few little updates this week. Uh, first, uh, just very excited that this is our first ever junior prom this Saturday uh, it's from 6.30 to 10. Uh, juniors that are attending the prom should check out the high school headlines issue that was just uh, that was just released last week uh, for more information or reach out to your house office. What an exciting event. And again, the first time we've had a bona fide junior prom. Second, uh, the board meeting, we talked about some updated uh, contact tracing processes that were going to be pushed forward from CDC in support of my Montgomery County. We did have our meetings. We do have some clarity on what Montgomery County and CDC um, what the recommendations are. So first, uh, we're going to see things look a little bit differently. First, we're only going to be sending out general classroom and bus notifications. Uh, we're no longer going to be contact tracing in our schools unless there's a confirmed in-school transmission between three students. So if there's one positive case, we're not going to contact trace. Once we start to see over a period of 14 days, a few different cases in the same space, whether it's the same classroom or same activity, uh, then we will put the contact tracing uh, efforts back in place for that situation. We are going to follow the CDC matrix um, and we'll make any necessary shifts the following Monday. We get that information either Thursday night or Friday. And by Monday, we will, we will enact whatever mitigation measures might be changing. Uh, last week, the first week of the CDC, I should say two weeks ago, the first week, the CDC put forward that information. We were medium this uh, this past week. This past Friday it was reported that we were low, so we're low throughout this week. And again, either tomorrow evening or Friday during the day at some point, we'll get our updated numbers and we'll get that posted to our dashboard. Speaking of our dashboard, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, first, we're going to be updating it on Fridays in alignment with uh, CDC updating and I believe Montgomery County as well. Uh, that will reflect the CDC relevant data as well as Spring Forward staff and student numbers as we continue internally to track that information. So stay tuned on Fridays for the updates there. As you know, we've been doing a test clinic um, and we are going to continue um, throughout this week to provide that test clinic, although we've kind of backed away on our hours uh, due to low demand. Uh, we are going to continue to monitor the situation. If we find that we have a need, uh, we'll bring that clinic back. But after this week, we're going to put a hold on offering the clinic. Certainly, if there's a need for testing, feel free to reach out to your house office or reach out to Chief David Boyer, and he'll be able to help get you connected with the test. Uh, we do still have those and are able and willing to do that as needed. And I would say lastly, um, March is a long month, and we've had a very long two years. So this is really just a reminder to you as parents, obviously, to continue to monitor your children as you have. Start to see signs of fatigue or students struggling as we kind of work through this busy, this long month. Please reach out to your school, reach out to your house office. You're all part of the educational team together. I know you all are, are all focused on helping your children, our students, be as successful as possible. So make sure you engage in that discussion. Uh, we want to be there to help the students be as successful as possible. Uh, and again, like I said, March is a challenging month. Um, so hang in there and we'll get through that. And um, then spring's here. So that's all I have for this week. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Otherwise, have a fantastic week and we'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks.